So what is up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Movement6 and before we start as the growing habit I want to say a huge thank you to everybody in support of the channel. If you're new here, your like, your comment, but especially subscription and notifications are highly appreciated. Um, now what I want to do today is I've spent a significant amount of time with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and the game itself is well i think a bit dead in the water at least in terms of hype or discussion or people talking about it looking forward there are a few big channels like nero Ch cinema of course who are bringing the news about content to to us but um we can't shy away from the fact that setting aside the issues with skill based matchmaking that Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is nothing more than a symptom of a franchise that is, well, really, really ill. What I want to do is just go through the elements that the game has to offer right now, because it's not all bad. There are some good elements in there, and for the most part, I am... Well, for the mo what I'm planning, I am actually enjoying to an extent. But there is so much wrong with the game itself and with the content or maybe the lack thereof that it's starting to hurt the franchise as a whole. Now, I do get it. There are a lot of excuses out there. The pandemic, sledgehammer that's not there anymore, so this game has to be rushed in two years. But eventually, the disease of the franchise is that Activision really wants you to run to the store and pay 70 euros every year for exactly the same game. This game is nothing more than a somewhat adjusted modern warfare that was released in 2019. The game is on the exact level, maybe even worse level in terms of content and what it has to offer than modern warfare. But the presentation, the menu structure, the menu itself, Everything is exactly the same, and if you start up the game, you see in the middle Warzone, on the right Modern Warfare, and on the left Cold War, if you've bought these games. So, one could argue that they belong to the same family, but the question is, is there a significant reason we constantly have to pay 70 euros for nothing more than an expansion? Because that's what this is. But let's start at the beginning. As I said in my previous video, we finally have a game where the single player campaign is actually not that bad. In all the years that have passed us, I'm starting to get less and less interested in single player campaigns from first person shooters. There are a few out there that did hit the mark. Titanfall 2 is one of them. Killzone could be one that I actually enjoyed. But overall, if you look at Call of Duty, there is no specific reason anymore to play the single player campaigns because they are nothing more than running from point A to point B. And in the meantime, you just shoot dumb bots. That's what you're doing, right? The story could be one of them, but also the stories that are being told are not really hitting the mark for me. This year is slightly different with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and I actually enjoyed it. Um, there are elements in there where you have to make choices which eventually affect the outcome of the game. I believe there are three or four endings. I think it's three. Um, play through one. There are some fine puzzles in there you need to unlock for, to get more evidence on the story. Um, but all in all, the core is still the same. Yes, you learn from point A to point B, and, and that's what you do. But there are some refreshing elements in there, and especially the elements where you don't have to shoot more the stealthy-like were actually really enjoyable to play. And it's the first time since a long time that I actually played the single-player campaign and enjoyed myself with a beer in my hand <laughs> playing the game. So that was actually kind of fun. It, then we come to the multiplayer. Well, no, wait, let's do zombies first. Zombies. That is one element where this Call of Duty should differ from another Call of Duty. So I was expecting some big attention to it, but it's just the overall game is lacking from, from content, and that's not something new 
to zombies. Zombies is just one map, and there are also some considerable issues in there, which I will not go in depth here. The overall experience is quite enjoyable, but I just do not have the urge to come back a lot. On top of that, it is an experience you want to share with friends online. Now, most of my friends that bought the game ran away from it immediately, went back to Modern Warfare or playing Warzone, which is available for free. So, from my friends base, there are not a lot of people playing zombies, and zombies to me is an enjoyable experience if you play it with friends online um, and have some fun with that. So... The overall presentation of the game, the zombies, is pretty good. Um, I think the elements are there that makes it fun, but just the sheer lack of content, just, well, it's not working for me to come back over and over again. On the other side, I don't see a lot of people grinding it on YouTube as well, because that usually is the place where you see a lot of people pushing towards those waves. I'm not seeing a lot of them. So that inevitably brings us to the next big chapter, the main chapter of Call of Duty, and that is the multiplayer. And that's where we have the same issue with this whole experience of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And that is an overall lack of content. Six 6v6 maps added two big maps that they've shrunk to fit 6v6, total of eight, the majority were already playable in the alpha and the beta, and to be very fair, the maps don't really make big impression on me. You could argue that Moscow is an okay-ish map. Cartel could work. But overall, the normal multiplayer is just a sheer lack of content that is not really working for me. And one of the biggest issues I'm seeing in Call of Duty right now, and that's also got to do with the skill-based matchmaking, Back in the days of Modern Warfare, when you enter a lobby, you stayed in that lobby. You take all the players back to the main lobby. That's where usually the shouting and the screaming starts. And then they mix it up again and you go to the next one. And some leave and then a few ones were added. Now the entire lobby is cleared, searching for new people because maybe you're getting better or worse. And eventually skill-based matchmaking is kicking in there. But more on... SBMM later on. This, the multiplayer is really being hurt by a lack of sheer freaking content. So in terms of maps, we lack content. And yes, you could say, no, it's not eight, but nine. But Nuketown to me is a separate one I'm going to discuss. So yes, there are nine maps in there, but at the start, it were just eight, right? If you're looking at weapons, there are a few weapons now added, but also overall, it are the least amount of weapons you can choose from I think since a long I think this is one of the least ever in the release of Call of Duty so in the menu structure as well you see that there's not much going on there is however one modus I actually thoroughly enjoy and that is combined arms assault especially on the boats and especially on Cartel, Cartel, but also that winter map that I now <laughs> fail to recall what name it has, are actually pretty enjoyable experience. Bigger maps, a lot of people running around, fast pace, and, and that's where the map Cartel actually shines if I need to pick one out. And I have a blast with, with, with these modes, right? So um, combined arms assault is actually pretty good and even make the map Miami shine uh, from my perspective. Nuketown is the only good 6v6 map right now. And that says a lot. It's a 10-year-old map and some like it in terms of look and feel and presentation. I personally like it. I also like the handling of the guns and, and the time to kill more than Modern Warfare, but that's subjectively speaking, right? That's just my own taste. You might differ in opinion. Um, but I actually like Nuketown, of course. But Nuketown is a map you just go in, have maybe a half an hour of fun, in and out modes, in and out, ma in and out modes. But that's genuinely it. It's not something you play for the long run. Combined Arms Assault, to my, from my perspective, is something I would like to see more maps for uh, and to being built up, uh, build up on further with this mode. So, 
We now have a few sets already discussed, right? It's a single player campaign that's actually enjoyable. Zombie lack of content. And we have um, the multiplayer, which is just a sheer lack of content overall. Now, the future, we can already guess. We're already seeing Raid being teased, which is an old fan favorite map. No doubt we're going to see Summit, Jungle, Firing Range, hopefully. And again, the circle is again closed. You know, we have the old maps that shine and going to carry this, um, this year's release again. Which is starting to hurt the franchise, in my opinion. But it, co it all comes from something that I call franchise fatigue. If you're going to ask developers in a two years time frame to have a product out there that's from high quality with a lot of content, you need to make choices in terms of what are you going to rush, what are you not going to rush. And that's why this game looks exactly like the game of Modern Warfare. There is no distinction. And to me, if Activision wants to build upon a, be a bit new business model, my advice would be take Modern Warfare as a platform and let the developers create content every six to eight months. So to give it another look, to give it another feel, Warzone is one of the biggest examples of that we're getting a complete overhaul to fit in the call of duty black ops cold war style and then they are going to build upon that so they do now see the business model in there but i think activision is struggling to get it into the base game with the multiplayer which can easily be done just take one game call it call of duty and then every six to eight months the developer names it differently Sometimes it's Modern Warfare, then it's called Black Ops Cold War, then they will turn it into Ghost. I don't give a shit, but you can give even a paid subscription for something. I don't want to play Spec Ops, I want to play Zombies. So if I had to choose, I would spend 15 euros on Zombie and then have that updated once in a while. I think they should look at a game like Rainbow Six Siege and how they handle the business model. They've got 35 million constantly players online for that game. I think there are a lot of good elements in there, elements that actually are turning into bad elements, just, just the business model of Activision freaking this shit up. And that's a pity, guys. It is really a freaking pity what they're doing with this Call of Duty, because in six, seven months time frame, we will see the hype for the next year's content and for the next year's Call of Duty, and we need to be hyped again. And no doubt that in six, six to seven months, this game is finally in a state where it should be at launch. But good content and good support, guys. In the meantime, I hope that the new maps are coming out soon. Season 1 of Warzone is around the corner. 16th of December, I believe. Looking forward to that. Um, so let me know, guys, in the comments. Are you enjoying Cold War? Is it Cold Sore for you guys? Yay or nay? But for now, guys, I'm going to return with you very quickly. Just want to give you my two cents on the game.